now moving forward to third subtopic functions of reference data management we can see here functions they are basically we collect the data who gives us the data data providers so first function is we collect the data and who gives the data data providers like bloomberg then there is basically morning star forbes thomson reuters they give us the data the data once we collect then there is consolidation in consolidation as we can see here what we have certain standard according to that standard we will have entire reference data that you will do like you can say large cap mid cap small cap these are standards corporations companies private sector public sector standards so you will have your own standards for data us listed companies indian listed companies standards after this you can proactively cleanse the data so what you did is collected then you consolidated now you are cleaning what is cleaning the data cleansing the data means or cleaning the data means basically detection of suspect data and resolution of missing data values that is up to you now what you will do is detect the suspect data resolve that and you will clear that it's very important very important very important it is required what happens here is that when we clean the data it is only done when you have suspect data ye nahi chalega that has to move out it has to move out so after cleansing you will coordinate so you collected you consolidated you cleansed now you are doing coordination the first four c's before you hand over to the d collect coordinate cleanse collect consolidate cleanse coordinate and then distribute so when you coordinate there is a manual intervention necessary for the ones which we cannot automatically process yeah manual intervention is required for where we are not able to do automatic processing and once you do that so again you go back to the reverse button and check you collected nicely from data providers then you consolidated everything then you cleansed the suspect data and then you are now coordinating once you did the coordination where required even manual then you will distribute distribute to whom you will distribute the data internally and externally to consumers such as traders portfolio managers accountants compliance specialist business intelligence analyst all this the distribution will be done and please remember this internal and external why because see internal stakeholders also require data external stakeholders also require data for internal stakeholders the employees the company management they require promoters the poor external government creditors why they will not require customers so they require the data so please remember what is to be given where that will be decided what is for internal what is for external so basically i'll say 4c and 1d are basic functions of rda collection consolidation cleansing coordination and distribution and in distribution remember to divide between internal and external stakeholders RDM is a growing concept, and here, if you are going to have your proper RDM in place, as you have written, you are complying with regulators, which also helps you, which also helps you in minimizing the risk, which also helps you in minimizing the risk. Why is RDM important? 
it's a core activity it's a very important activity and specifically for banks it means recording the complete details it gives clients ssi instructions and data is maintained in orderly manner so basically rdm is a core activity complete details are there function is responsible for maintaining client details and yes it the meant in orderly manner if you look at four pillars of rdm i always call them as copsi c o p c copsi c client data o organizational data p product data c calendar data they are the four pillars copsi and when we say copsi your client data client data is the data which you require for onboarding the client we have discussed this ssi his details organizational data useful for maintaining books legal entities general ledgers product data useful in trading dealing risk management corporate action pricing intraday prices calendar data trade settlement holidays all this when are the markets working when are the markets not working you should have it so rdm basically whatever data it captures i would say it helps in coordination and risk management ensures that the system is in place ensures the control of the entire cycle it is very important function all of you must read that one you can see here there is a sale deal struck with client the client specific data goes to middle office middle office sends to rdm rdm checks everything and client is informed ke here you go you are ready to go you going is good now so go ahead trade life cycle when we refer trade enrichment stage all the details are to be given economic details involve profit or loss non economic details are for client info thank you very much and we'll take up the next topic impact of rdm after this